Alrighty, Holy Athena. Now, this, this person here, around the time that I made my review, and that's the very first video in my Below Zero Let's Talk, I was approaching 400 upvotes for Useful, and man, I had... Uh, I had over 30,000 Steam points worth of rewards given to that review before Steam or Unknown Worlds is like, we're going to censor this review. Holy Athena put up her review, or his review, not too long after mine, and they parroted a lot of my thoughts and feelings. They even went further than I did. So, I kept my eye on Holy Athena. They've become active recently, and, well, let's read. I disagreed. It allowed you to be yourself in the character's position. It wasn't someone else. It was you who got lost and is now stranded. Now it's a character I have to try to get behind and care about. Because who, who doesn't care about themselves? And if you don't, well, feel bad for you. In a game about survival and getting lost, it's nice to have a silent protagonist you can put yourself into. The character's reactions to the world and situations are your own literal reactions to it, making it feel much more personal. I also had this issue where the game wants you to explore, yet at the same time you're trying to find your sister who may or may not be in danger, etc. It's like, oh shit, my sister is in danger. Evil Altera is going, ooh, pretty flowers, scans. Makes no flippin' sense at all. They tried to write it off like you snuck down to the planet with stolen Altera tech in the form of the drop pod, etc. But seriously, how worse can you plan for a trek on an icy planet? She brings nothing with her and nothing to even help find her sister. Just, oh look, a shiny ship to steal and crashes it into the planet. Good game. The whole story is garbage from the get-go, which distracts from the exploration and immersion from the game. Now, don't get me wrong. Oh, actually, you can get me wrong if you want. I don't give a fuck. But if I'm Robin, and I'm clearly not fucking Robin, but if I was Robin, and I'm going to an icy fucking planet or a water planet with an icy biome, I'm going to preload my PDA with information about the local flora, the local fauna, fauna, the local fauna, the local weather conditions. I'm going to load my PDA up with information about all of Sam's co-workers so that when I come to this planet, I'm prepared. But you know what? I'm not Robin. I'm not a black woman. I'm not a terrorist. I'm not a poorly written character written by an angry butch feminist dyke. Thankfully, I'm a human being and I'm real and I've got, a, I've got character and I've got a personality and I've got my own character art and I've actually got development. Hmm. La -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Spider says, I agree, the story is thrown together. It's like they started off with a lengthy story in mind. Then at about a quarter of the way through, they just threw their towels in and crammed fillers in. That makes you lose interest entirely. The creatures don't have near the diversity the first game did. So Monica wanted to kill you at every turn and you felt it. Turning every corner had you on edge. I still enjoy Below Zero, but it's bars below Subnautica. Feel like they did a triple A and just put the least amount of effort into it, hoping the success of the first game will carry this one. Well, Athena responds, and basically these uh, following comments are debating the merit of how and why one game may feel more dangerous or aggressive than the other. And you can read those. I agree with the squid shark. They just kind of copy and pasted that bastard everywhere. The big Brzezinski. It is what it is and what it will be. The Ludo narrative resonance of the last game was traded for a traditional combination of busy work gameplay and audio story time. You don't have time alone with your own thoughts. And that's why I like playing in the void in this game, because it's quiet and the PDA shuts the fuck up. And Alan doesn't talk to me, and Robin's not running her fucking mouth, and the stupid fucking story can't get to me when I'm in the void. That's why I like it. The best place for me in your game is the empty black darkness where nothing happens. That should be a remarkably unsettling thing for anyone in your community to tell you. That the best part of your game is when there's fucking nothing happening. Because the next step is saying that my favorite part of Below Zero is not fucking playing. Ouch.
You can't be alone with your own thoughts because it's Robin's thoughts that are important, not the players, aka Jill Murray's thoughts. Best we can hope for is they've got the story they intended to present by the 14th of May. It's been done well before. It'll come down to the ending for me. We have a story with a protagonist who believes the lawful government can't be trusted and is mentored by an outlaw radical who provided explosives to her sister to destroy biomedical research, but which ultimately killed her and her colleague. It's a pretty dark tale, especially compared to that of Below Zero's predecessor. Best case scenario, we get a little story about self-reflection, hard realizations, forgiveness of both yourself and others, and growth as a person. It's almost like this motherfucker Brzezinski is talking about how to make a story. Who the fuck? Who are you people, Unknown Worlds Entertainment? Which one of you motherfuckers thought y'all were making a game? This isn't a game, this is a travesty. This is insulting. Oh man, best case scenario. A story about learning it's okay to admit you were wrong and choose a new path. Worst case, we get a story written in 2020 that comes off as highly repugnant in 2021. A story where a righteous cause justifies violence and Colonel Kurt stands in for Obi-Wan. Seriously, what's the difference between some kid getting beat up and shooting up a school? And what's the difference between that and some black lesbian dyke not getting what she wants so she blows up fucking shit anyway? It's the same thing. Hypocritical retards. Obviously, Subnautica and Blow Zero are different. Question is, do they go together? And Uncle chimes in at the end, definitely a no buy. I'm gonna do a little refresh to see if there's anything new, and look, there is something new. Same really for me. With a lot of people, what a lot of people will remember is the ending here. That's been proven by the likes of Game of Thrones and Star Wars. If the story comes together in the last five minutes into something we can look forward to and breathe life into the series, it'll be a success. If not, well, the studio already said they wanted to move on to something else besides Subnautica and take a break from it. Read into that what you will. Cared food is pointless. Suggestion? Make it gives buffs. And go ahead and read this. Pause and read. You know, pause and read. Because I mentioned something like this before. I mentioned something like this when I was still able to post in the forums. Making long, long comments, long posts. Well within the right and reason and time to offer advice. Back when you guys, Unknown Worlds... Back when y'all still had time to implement any of the advice players were still given to you, people were telling you this kind of stuff. You need to balance the game. I thought that's what y'all was doing. The uh, EA 13 and Seaworthy update, y'all supposed to be balancing this shit, but y'all weren't. Read these posts. Read them. Read each and every one of these posts. These are individual stories from individual people. Look at this. This is what they think of your game. This is how your game makes people feel. Is this what you wanted? Is this your choice? Why put hunger and thirst in the game if those mechanics are completely invalidated? Why? Why is so much of this game unfinished and unpolished? How did it get this far? How did you have to rewrite your story so many times and it got worse each time? How? Ice worms need a lot of work still. Oh boy, yes they do. There's only a couple posts, so go ahead, do a quick pause, read, do a quick pause and read. How is the snow fox still a piece of shit? N March, it, the 14th is coming. Y'all didn't fix the snow fox. Y'all didn't fix the ice worms. Y'all didn't fix any of this. It's it's the final hour. What have y'all been what have y'all been doing? Oh, oh, I know what y'all been doing. Y'all added in the Mercury 2 PDAs. Which breaks the story even further. Oh man, I'm gonna have to make a third video. 